here, meet some of the most mysterious animals that fooled scientists into believing they were extinct. Watch this video till the need to know about Clarion Night Snake, Tasmanian Devil, and how a species of ants made their comeback by reproducing without the presence of any male. Somali Elephant Shrew. Don't get your hopes up, as this isn't an elephant, but a mouse. It has been rediscovered after almost 50 years in Africa. Everybody thought that the mouse-sized Somali Singhi was extinct, but it turns out it wasn't. They have been rediscovered, not in Somalia, but in a neighboring country, Djibouti. They may not possess trunks like elephants, but they have distinctive trunk-like noses, which they use to feast on insects. Apart from insects, they are also fond of peanut butter. Here, I have to say, who doesn't like peanut butter? I thoroughly enjoy this peanut butter. The team used this treat to capture these mice. They set more than a thousand traps at 12 locations and managed to catch one in the first trap they set in the dry, rocky landscape of Djibouti. The Pygmy Tarsier. Guys, meet this little package of cuteness, the Pygmy Tarsier. They are native to an Indonesian island named Sulawesi, and after having no contact with them for 80 years, during the early 20th century, everyone thought that they were extinct. But these little fellas said, not so soon. So in May 2000, while checking rat traps set in the forest, scientists made a grim discovery, a dead pygmy tarsier inside one of the traps. Eight years later, in August 2008, pygmy tarsier were rediscovered during a live encounter between a research team and the four animals. If you look at them closely, it would seem that those big, bulging eyes are piercing through your soul. Clarion Night Snake. Also known as the Lost Snake, this species of the serpent has been discovered after almost 80 years on Revilla Gigedo Island, almost 400 miles off Mexico's Pacific coast. It was first discovered by an American explorer, William Beebe, in 1936, but was never seen again. Everybody thought that it was extinct, but the badass snake came back. The reason for this is that the snake's home is extremely remote, and also, the snake's secretive behavior makes it difficult to detect in the field. The snake grows as long as 45 centimeters and has a distinctive pattern of spots on its head and neck. It was rediscovered in 2013 by Dr. Daniel Mulcahyas. He retraced Beeb's steps in an effort to locate the lost species. New Guinea Big-Eared Bat this New Guinea bat was not seen for more than 120 years, and everyone thought that it went extinct. But it turned out it was just playing hide and seek with us all. Big ear bats are better than Batman when it comes to hiding out and keeping their identity secret. These rare bats were found on a field expedition in the Abao coastal district of Papua New Guinea. The big eared bats are distinguishable from other native bats by their large ears and the nose leaf located behind their nostrils. This structure is thought to aid in echolocation, which they use in capturing their prey. Pava aliblanca. Also known as the white-winged guan, this beautiful bird was declared endangered due to excessive poaching practices. But after some time, when nobody sighted it for a long time, it was declared extinct by the scientific community. After being lost for nearly a whole century, it dramatically reappeared in 1977. The white-winged guan is all brown with pale specks on the neck, upper back, and breast. They have gray skin around the eyes and face, and they also have a distinct bright red throat and dewlap. Coelacanth. The story of this fish is quite fascinating. Scientists found a lot of old fossils of the coelacanth, the oldest one was approximately 410 million years old. All of them thought that they had gone extinct with dinosaurs 65 million years ago, but nobody knew that coelacanths were badass. They were rediscovered chilling off the coast of South Africa in 1938. This ignited a debate among the scientific community about how this bizarre lobe-finned fish fits into the evolution. The coelacanth is an elusive creature that lives in the depth of 2,300 feet below the surface. They can be quite heavy, as they weigh about 198 pounds, with a height of 6.5 feet. 
the dinosaur ants. Amy Crocker, an Australian naturalist, discovered two worker ants from a distinct species in 1931. They were discovered during a gathering of insect specimens from around Western and Southern Australia. They were deemed as odd due to their distinct morphology, like the body and the head that didn't resemble today's ants, but looked like some ancient fossilized ants from millions of years ago. But even after extensive searches, scientists couldn't find any more of them. And after more than 40 years, one was derived in 1977 in Poochera, Australia. And due to their prehistoric appearance, they got a common name of dinosaur ants. A long and retractable stinger is present at the rear of the abdomen and is known for inflicting a painful sting on humans. Cockapoo. Well, these were not exactly extinct, but were on the brink of extinction but I'm gonna include them in today's list because they're just so damn adorable. Plus, it's my list. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> also known as owl parrots, even from the parrot species, they're the only ones who can't fly. Before humans arrived, they were common throughout the forests of New Zealand, but predation brought them towards the brink of extinction. In the mid 1990s, the population was estimated to be less than 50. Cockapoos are moss green with yellow and black spots. It was the world's heaviest parrot that weighs between four to nine pounds and is about 24 inches tall. They have a musty sweet odor and court their females with group songs and dances. Aren't they a package of cuteness? Tasmanian Devil. Remember Taz from the Baby Looney Tunes? That cartoon character that was the embodiment of the animal known as the Tasmanian Devil. In the late 1800s, there were huge efforts to eradicate these devils, as they were considered to be killing the livestock. But after a rapid decline in their population, in 1941, the government made plans to conserve the species. All the efforts went in vain, as a contagious devil-faced tumor disease spread among the population. The disease killed 95% of the population, but after a while, they were reintroduced into the world. They weigh around 26 pounds and grow up to 31 inches long, having a bushy tail of about half that length. La Gomera Giant Lizard After examining the fossils of these lizards, scientists all over the world thought that they were extinct for about 500 years. But in 1999, some Spanish biologists accidentally stumbled upon a population of 20 La Gomera lizards. They have a distinct appearance as compared to other lizards with their blackish brown back covered with black abnormal scales. Also, two lines of small blue dots run along the side, with their underbellies appearing ivory white. They can weigh up to 1.1 pounds and vary in length from 30 to 49 centimeters. But due to captive breeding efforts, the population is also increasing. Keto Stubfoot Toad these exotic, glassy, shiny toads were considered long gone in the 1990s after the widespread of the chytrid fungus. This fungus is deadly for these amphibians, as there's no cure or eradication of the lethal chytrid. But it was rediscovered after 27 years of searching in Ecuador in 2016. Researchers relocated the ones that were found into a lab so that they could monitor breeding and increase the species' survival chances. Now it is thought that just under 250 individuals exist in the recently discovered subpopulation, and the species has been recategorized as critically endangered. Lord Howe Island Stick Insect This little insect is considered to be the rarest insect in the world. It was thought to be extinct for a long time until rediscovered in 2001. They were driven to the brink of extinction by a population of black rats, and no stick insect could be found after 1920. But in 1964, a team of climbers visiting the island discovered a dead insect. After that, many expeditions were sent to find a specimen, but only fresh carcasses were found, and all were unable to derive a live one until 2004. What's cool is that reproduction can happen without the presence of males. I guess that's why they're not extinct. I'm telling you, if they relied upon the guys, they would have been long gone. That's it for today. See you next time.